Look at my kids living their best life. What you're having smoothie in bed. They're living their best life. Yeah. So this is what we have for breakfast. A healthy smoothie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll what about you, Jordan? Excuse me? No one wants to see your Please. your nonsense. No, 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 no one cares thing, about Roblox. One thing, one thing, they don't one care. Thing, one thing. They don't one care thing, about Roblox. That's for the kids. That's for the what kids. kids? And that could be watching with their parents right now. Oh my god. I made Roger it's his car. And then I made a hover car version. Hey, give it to and me. And then I made a twin version. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> so we're going out right now because I need to buy the uh, supplies that I need for my um, thing. Okay. So um, I also got a lot of your guys' suggestions for. Mm, this is dry. For um, the washroom. I wonder if I have time today to go to IKEA. So essentially, you guys suggested like some type of thing over. It's like a ladder-ish. It looks like a ladder, and it would be like over the toilet somehow. So they're they're saying that I am gonna order a new bulb that's not yellow. Um, I just have some temporary shower curtain. I have some temporary shower curtains. They're just like from Dollarama, just enough to get by for now. So whatever color I get will go with whatever's going on in here. Oh, God, I have to paint. I'm honestly sick of painting. God, I'm sick. Don't want to do any more painting. I don't want to see paint for a long time. But I guess I must. I must. Well, we're going to, um, you know, comb our hair and stuff. We'll be back. This is so whack. Tell your friend them. She can't go to the doctor's office without the mask. Tell them. I've never worn a mask, eh? Good. Since this whole thing began. Good doc. She can't come without the mask. Mom, huh? this entire time I haven't caught anything though without me not wearing a mask. Me, me not care about your bone to wear it today. Me a come cran. I'm wearing but it like this. The doctor said she can't come in without the mask. I'm wearing it like this. She Stop, can't still come me. in without the mask. I'm one of these people. I'm, I'm so anti-everything. Like, Comment down below. Is there anyone like me? Like, is there anyone like me? Yeah, no. Them. Like, yes, I don't friend. wear masks. I don't wear gloves. I just do normal yeah, things that we should do. Yeah, Wash our hands and, and don't spit on people and don't let people spit on you. I just yeah, keep my normal know. distance, like, always. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, like, is that anyways, comment down below if y'all be, if y'all be anti-masks like me. <laughs> so we're actually at the natural path. Remember I told you I'm taking Naomi for her face. Also, I'm trying to find out if her weight gain is normal or if it's some hormone or some imbalance, you know? So that's what we're doing today. So we are done at the natural path. And I'm so glad I went. So basically, she's saying that it most likely is a thyroid issue. And I had Naomi's thyroid checked a couple of years ago because I thought that she had these things in her neck, like they were swollen it's called a goiter so i thought she had like a growth on her on her whatever neck so at the time they i think she did a um thyroid test and it came back normal but the thing that the naturopath was saying about thyroid tests that there's different levels of it or different types of thyroid tests so i'm going to get the thyroid test i think it's called t3 and t4 so those check for a very specific markers in the thyroid hormone or whatever and then she was saying that um naomi's sleeping powder needs to be regulated so when i was at my mom's house they'd be going to bed at 12 o'clock one o'clock two o'clock and i've always hated it but my mom would always be like oh there's no school there's no school but i'd be like i don't care i think they need to go to bed at nine or ten because you're children you don't work you don't do anything there's no need for you to be up until these ridiculous times of the morning comment down below if you agree with me but anyway so now that we've moved out i want to create a routine where they go to sleep around nine or ten the latest so the doctor she was saying that that is very necessary because her hormones or her body is just confused it doesn't know what's going on because of the sleeping pattern so there's that she also um suggested vitamin d which she said every single black person in north america 
is pretty much vitamin D deficient. And it's such a key vitamin in regulating our bodies and our systems. And it does make sense because black people have been dying way more than anybody else of COVID or whatever. And um, we're all vitamin D deficient, most likely. So that vitamin D is like such a critical vitamin is critical so obviously guys i'm saying to you if you're black especially if you're black get get vitamin d i want you guys to promise me promise me promise me in the comment section you're gonna buy vitamin d it's so important please 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 get vitamin d so naomi's gonna have some even i'm gonna have some because i'm 100 percent. i need that for sure there's that and then there's omega-3s she um recommended a, an omega-3 for me for her and and then she has to have um meals at the right times of the day so before she'd wake up at 1 p.m and have her first meal at 2 you know whatever or whenever she's hungry so they're suggesting like when you get up at um at nine in the morning have your breakfast at nine have your lunch at 12 1 and have your dinner at five or six so everything needs to like you know be natural and it needs to make sense for her body to behave correctly so we're going to start there and we're going to get um an allergy test as well to just rule that out so I'm already excited that was a 200 dollars appointment because it was with the naturopath which is not covered by OHIP but it's well worth the money and um yeah okay anyway so i'll see you guys when you get home okay i love you bye morning co-star how many guys want my mom to have her own channel put your hand up okay we might have done this yesterday what on it dear what on it girl so i'm thinking i'm gonna do some sort of like maybe once a week my mom will just get her day you know what i mean like it'll just be her vlog and i'll just follow her like for the day comment down below you're would you guys really like that because it seems you guys really enjoy my mom you're it seems really like you enjoy her more her. than me I think you yes, me. mom i don't know what you said <laughs> um i tried to do my eyebrows with mascara and it didn't work out so don't do it okay guys hi naomi how are you oh my baby's still suffering because you know, sometimes she's in pain, but it's fine. So today we're gonna get your vitamins, right, girl? Yeah. Vitamin D, oil of what was it called? Um, Omega three. Omega three. Mm hmm. Hopefully that will um, assist they with they bringing things children. back to normal. <sighs> huh? They have children. No, actually, I mean yes, they do. But the the lady actually just said, cause she's tall enough, and well, technically she has enough body weight to metabolize the vitamins, mm -hmm. she can take adult dosages. And you feel encourage your friend them if you take vitamin D. I told my friends, I told my, my customers. Tell them. I yeah, told them. Especially us black people. Especially, please get the vitamin D, like God, please. Please just get the vitamin D guys. I don't want you to anything happen to you. So I'm actually waiting for a burrito because I am so hungry. So I'm just getting a, um. What kind of burrito is it? Sweet potato. Sweet potato burrito right now for lunch or breakfast or whatever. Anyways, we're going to Ikea. That's also where we're going. So I'm um, going to see if I can get some cute stuff for my washroom. A lot of you guys have been sending me some really cute inspiration. Like putting some shelving above the toilet. That's cute that I can put my stuff in, but it's still cute. So I think I'm going to take your advice. Okay, see ya. I'm going to Mm. What I'm chewing with my mouth closed. Did you guys know. see that? Did you guys see that? I was chewing with my mouth closed. You didn't even hear me. Wow, good job, Rochelle. It's actually quite a feat. Anyways, that's enough of that. I want to chew with my mouth closed. I mean, open again. We're back. Now that's more like it. No crazy line. Like this ain't Wonderland or Six Flags. Okay. My mom has gone ahead and entered the line to come inside. And I'm really excited. The reason we still have to go around and around and around in this, but there's no one in it. And look at the line at the front. First thing that comes to mind 
that could happen to you is waiting outside in line to go into a store and it starts to rain. Well, that's what's happening. It's actually beginning to rain right now. We're almost there. We're almost inside. Hopefully it doesn't get too crazy before we get inside. My mom's inside waiting for us. We're coming! This just scared me. This is not Ikea. What is this? So my mom was waiting in the return line at Ikea. This whole time I thought she was already inside. And then she got inside. She went upstairs and went back downstairs. And then they told her she cannot come back upstairs. So she went upstairs where I was, went downstairs, and then came back upstairs to meet me. And they told her she got to wait outside or downstairs. So now we got to rush through because she's waiting for us. But I'm going to get what I need. Okay, come to me. Let's go. Guys, I want to change the cabinetry or just the doors of the cabinets in my house. So comment down below which one you prefer. I'm just curious to see what you guys say. I these, these ones. Glass shelves to put over my washroom toilet. Um, they're just not very deep. They're shallow, you know? It, can, it doesn't hold like a whole big row of stuff, but it's an option. Guys, we're back from Ikea. Hey, say hey, co-star. Okay, listen. I didn't get anything. I felt like I didn't want to make my mom wait too long. And I didn't really see any of the floating shelves that I liked. I want to show you some inspiration pictures that people sent me in my DMs for the washroom. And I didn't like any of them. I mean, what I saw at Ikea. So I think I'm going to, I think what I want to do is make a budget first and then shop according to my budget. Cause I just feel like I don't know what I want to spend on and all that stuff. So I'm going to start there and then I'm going to start by shopping around and looking at prices and looking at styles, designs or whatever. And then I just want to kind of bang it out all one time. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's it. So we're going to get my mom a burrito quesadilla. or a quesadilla and I don't know, go home. It's raining outside. Makes you want to go to bed. We're at my mom's house, so we were talking in the car, and you know what she's gonna do? She's gonna paint! She's gonna paint the green, and she's just gonna make the whole kitchen white. She gotta paint, who gotta paint it? No, she gotta paint. Paint what? Okay. The boys are gonna paint it. Mm. My dad is not really being handy right now. As I told you, he got into a car accident, so he's gotta be careful. He can't be heavy lifting and bending over and that type of stuff. But he does oversee the projects, don't you, Dad? Yep, yep, yep. So he's teaching my brothers how to do stuff. So she's going to take down these horrendous borders. And she also is getting a kitchen counter installed. Tomorrow, actually. Oh, what's so it I can't on? wait to see it. I hope she chose something right, because I wasn't there for it. Um, hello? A wataguan. That sounds really bad. Mmm, pineapples. Mm. These are so, so tremendously delicious, my guys. Mm -hmm. My mm. God. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wasn't yesterday Father's Day? Mm hmm. Yesterday? You sure? Yeah, I acknowledged it. <laughs> and everyone says Happy Father's Day to you on, you never on, say on Instagram. Mm hmm. Bro, dad, I said it to you and I put it on Instagram for proof. Yeah. You should see what money could get me. <laughs> I don't even care. Look at what my sister got my dad. This is a picture of my dad when he was not with Vitiligo. This is where I'm trying to get him back to. This is what he used to be, just a regular person. <laughs> just kidding. But no. Yeah. So she got you this picture? No. She got you something else? I have to come upstairs. Look. Mmm. Okay. So, a bowl. It's not weak. I'm about just a bowl. It's my father's day bowl. If you may say, super bowl. <laughs>
Hello. <laughs> Look what Chelsea gave me. Mm. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I mean, fine, but. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I hate these. I don't know. I'm telling you guys, I hate this mask business. I hate it. You see, I more of your face. So people can see all of your face. So that you can do what? Mm. So you can push up your mouth and laugh at people. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see if you're vexed or not, right? Oh. Yeah, good thing, you know. Nobody wants to see emotion. They, sh they should call it emotion mass. No, but I think that's... Oh, anyways. Hmm? Okay, so your mom got... Mass. Your mom. So, yeah. no, Minnie got you some soap. Yeah, and... And, 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 um, some, and some Purell. Stana -na -na -na. Nana. Nana. Yeah. This is oh, pretty, no. um... It's mm -hmm. pretty whack. Yeah, isn't that lovely? It's right. And I ate out some of these already. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Comment down below. So whenever you can top this, you can talk to me, all right? <laughs> I have to top this now? <laughs> all right? I have to top this. I have to top I give, the basket. I give, you till, I give you till the end of the week oh, please. <laughs> to top it, all right? No, I ain't coming Come through with nothing. Something. But I do have some things for you to do for me. <laughs> hey, guys. It's another day. I just wanted to tell you guys goodbye. I never end my vlogs, so sometimes I have to come in and pretend, but um, it's the end of the vlog, so I will see you. Oh my God, is this a, oh my God. What is this? My God. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you.